What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at portfolio projects on Coursera. Now before we jump into anything, I'm using a new mic and some new lighting. I'm trying to improve this channel, believe it or not. I'm trying to make this channel better. So if it doesn't look exactly the same or sound exactly the same, I'm trying to make improvements. So, you know, let me know if it sounds or looks any better than normal. I really won't know unless you tell me. But that is not the focus of this video. We are here to talk about projects on Coursera and I am not just talking about taking a full course or a certification on Coursera. Now, I did not even know that this existed on Coursera until about three or four months ago when I just kind of stumbled upon it when I was looking for a specific course and I just couldn't find it and I found this instead. And if you've ever taken one of my portfolio projects in my series that I have here on YouTube, it is very, very similar. They have tons of projects that are only about an hour to two hours long, and you can follow alongside them and do them and create full length portfolio projects. I got really excited when I saw these projects because I make a lot on my channel, but I can't make every single project out there in the world, but there are a ton of them on Coursera that you can do right now. But before we jump onto my screen and start taking a look at these projects that I found that I think are super good, I wanna give a huge shout out to the sponsor of this video, and that is Coursera. Now, if you're watching this video, I'm guessing you know what Coursera is, but they were having a huge sale on their Coursera Plus, which is their annual membership, which saves you a lot of money if you use it a lot. They're offering $100 off their annual membership from September 8th through the 29th, which if you're gonna be using them a lot, it's actually a pretty good deal. So be sure to go and check them out. I will have links in the description to everything that we're gonna be looking at today, as well as that discount. Discount. So thank you again for Coursera for sponsoring this video. Now, without further ado, let's jump onto my screen and take a look at these projects. So let's say you just go on Coursera and let's say I want to look up a COVID project. Now, if you look that up, some things are going to come up, but you can also filter it and go by these learning programs. You can look at courses, projects, specializations. Uh, these guided projects are what I'm talking about, the guided projects. So I'm going to click on guided projects. There's a bunch of stuff going to come up. This one is not one that I had found earlier. I'm just using this for demonstration purposes, but um, you can look up sentiment analysis on COVID-19 tweets using Python and it'll walk you through how to do this. And I'm gonna kind of show you what it is in just a little bit, but I'm gonna go through the projects and I'm gonna kind of go into a project so you can see what it looks like and see how you can actually learn from it. So that wasn't one that I'm actually recommending, although it could be a really good one if you wanna check it out. But the very first project that I had found that I really liked was this COVID-19 data analysis using Python. If you followed my portfolio project series, I did a COVID-19 dashboard as well using SQL and Tableau, but this one uses Python and I took a look at it and I really liked it. And there's also another COVID-19 one taught by the exact same guy with data visualization using Python. Now they're not exactly the same, but this one focuses much more on the data cleaning, getting the data in, and then a little bit of visualization. Whereas this one focuses almost exclusively on the visualization. So if we look at the data analysis using Python, if we scroll down, we can see exactly what we're going to learn. So we're gonna import the COVID-19 data set and prep it just a little bit. We're gonna create some measures, um, probably using calculated fields and whatnot, merging separate data sets and finding correlations among the data and then visualizing it using Seaborn. And then over here, we have some pictures kind of describing a little bit about what you're going to do. They do this in Jupyter Notebooks. Uh, in just a little bit, once I show you these projects, I'll take you actually into it so you can see it. But this is kind of what it looks like. But I'm not going to go crazy in depth and show you every single thing that you're going to be learning in these projects. Just go check them out. Uh, but these are really good ones that I personally saw and I really liked. Uh, so again, there's this data visualization using Python. We have exploratory data analysis with Python and pandas. Um, I really like this one because it showed a lot of different types of things. I think a little more in depth even because they use a lot of pandas, which I'm a huge fan of pandas. I think everybody should learn how to use pandas if you're going to do any type of data analysis uh, with Python. But they use a lot of different visualizations in this project, which I really liked. And they would look really nice on a portfolio project. That's just what I think. Uh, so again, this is a really good one to take a look at. The next one is HR analytics, build an HR dashboard using Power BI. Now the last couple ones that we just took a look at were using Python. This one is for all my Power BI users out there who really like Power BI. Uh, again, this one only takes an hour to complete. Super easy. I like just how simple they are because again, I try to create simple projects myself. Um, in this one, you're doing 
pretty simple stuff. You're creating employee demographics dashboards as well as an employee detail. Uh, and it takes you through some of these pictures that's gonna show you what it's gonna look like. And I thought it looked pretty nice. Um, so again, something just to look into, especially if you're doing Power BI, I have a whole Power BI you know, tutorial series, but this could be a really good project. The next one is creating an interactive KPI management dashboard in Tableau. Now we just had a project for Power BI, gotta have one for Tableau as well. Uh, let's scroll down really quickly. So it takes you through exactly what you're gonna do, create some KPIs, spark charts, dashboard maps, access charts, uh, and then you create a dashboard and you get to share that. And so this one didn't have a ton of photos, but you kind of get an overview of what you're gonna do right here. It's really simple. And again, these are really short projects uh, and I really like how they have it because you can do it side by side and do it with them. I really, really like that. And the very last one, and this one to me, I, I, I'm showing this to you last because it's in PySpark. I personally have used Spark or PySpark for many years and I love it, but I haven't talked a lot about it on the channel. So if you're wanting to do something unique in your portfolio, you wanna use something called PySpark, you know, Python, and you wanna learn Spark as well, uh, this is a fantastic project. I, I really like this one. It doesn't have a lot of uh, reviews because not a lot of people have probably taken it. This is a great, fantastic beginner project with PySpark. So if you've never used it and you wanna try it out, I think this is a really good place to start. So now let's open one of these up. I'm gonna go back here. I'm gonna click on the start guided project. I'm gonna open it up so you can see what it looks like. But really quickly, this just popped up on my screen. You can just buy this for $10 uh, and you can just buy it outright. Or if you get the Coursera Plus or just a monthly membership, that'll come with that so you won't have to pay this $10. Okay, so this is basically what it's gonna look like when you open up this project. On the left-hand side, this is your virtual machine. You can do anything that you're seeing on the right-hand side. On the right-hand side, this is the actual video. So he's walking you through it but you have it on both sides of the screen. So you're watching it and doing it at the same time. And everything is set up for you. So all I really did was opened up this notebook right here and everything is laid out for us, right? I haven't done any of this, but it's all laid out for us and you follow along and you get to learn and build a project at the same time. So on this right hand side, he's teaching us how to do these calculating measures. Um, and so he's showing us this visualization really quickly so that he can teach us more. Um, and then as you go, you can skip to the next one. They have about, this is about a 10 minute video, but you can skip to the next lesson and then it continues and builds on each other. And then after about an hour, you should be completely done. Again, I'm a huge believer in projects and creating a portfolio and I cannot give you every single portfolio project that is out there. I do my best, but I cannot do it all. And so I thought this was a really great resource, especially if you already use Coursera. This is a really good place to find unique projects that maybe not a lot of other people have done. Because again, I think it's kind of a something that not a lot of people have used. So I hope that that was helpful. I hope that you found this as interesting as I did because it kind of blew my mind when I saw it. I was like, how have I not seen this before? I've been using Coursera for years. So I, I hope that you know you enjoyed that as much as I did. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you to Coursera for sponsoring this video. If you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe below. And I'll see you in the next one.